The winners for the Framer site of the year 2023 competition have been announced. In this video, we'll analyze the websites and see what makes them special. But first, we'll start with an honorable mention. Disco Dungeon won June site of the month. As you scroll, a character explores the dungeon, which adds a playful twist to the user experience. The vibrant colors, the game screenshots, and the other animated elements add to the website's charm. No code tools aren't often used for designing presentation pages for games, which is what makes this project refreshing. We Grow is a subscription based studio that offers flexible and cost effective design solutions. They won third place at the Framer Awards 2023. The UI is as good as you'd expect from an award winner. It has a catchy video in the hero section and several animated elements throughout the page. It's a colorful but balanced UI. It's also keeping up with the latest design trends as the website is done in the bento box style with a little bit of glass morphism in the sticky navigation bar. What really makes it special is the way they make their brand identity stand out. It comes as no surprise when you find out that two of the four team members are branding experts. But before we dive deeper into that, it's worth mentioning the FAQ section feels a bit clunky due to the many sections in their respective boxes. To understand their branding, we need to first take a look at the logo. It's made of five circles that go from hollow to filled, and together they form the letter W. The team's illustrations are on a round background and form the letter W. This motif is found in several areas of the landing page. The benefits section has six illustrations, each with the logo styled differently. Their process is described in three steps. Each has an illustration of a circle that goes from hollow to filled, which shows progression. The video in the hero section is made of the same elements as the logo. Jessica Wells' portfolio website goes beyond the usual UI patterns, which is why it won second place at the Framer Awards 2023. The layout is divided into four columns, each with a sticky navigation item at the top. The nav items are represented only by initials, but on hover, the whole label is revealed. The scrolling animations make the website stand out. As you scroll down, the intro text fades in and the video enlarges. The way the projects are presented is distinct. They scroll horizontally, the spacing and alignment are irregular, and the sporadic animated thumbnails are a nice touch. The rest of the content animates as you scroll down. The projects have two views. By default, they are displayed as a list. If you hover over any line, the thumbnail of that specific project will appear. If you click on the image view, the projects will be displayed the same as on the home page. The case studies follow a similar pattern to the project display. The content, which is mostly images, scrolls horizontally.
The rest of the pages follow the same pattern. Black and white color scheme, all the elements animate on scroll. The Framer Awards 2023 winner is the portfolio of Sebastian Martinez. It is a one-page website that relies heavily on animations and interactivity. Right off the bat, the intro animation and big typography leave a strong impression. As we scroll down, the type shrinks, grows, or slides in, depending on its purpose. The project thumbnails animate in a distinct pattern. Each has a different size and placement. They are standalone images, so they can't be clicked, but you can drag them around. The only clickable elements are the contact and social links. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more websites made with Framer, there's a link in the comments.